when the camera's rolling, the heart pounds. It's thrilling to me. When it comes down to recruiting, who were your final four or five teams that you really gave consideration to uh, going to school for? Uh, so my last, my final was uh, Kentucky, Louisville, Kansas, LSU, uh, Arizona. Mm. So funny thing, I knew where, and I feel like a lot of times kids just waste time, you know what I'm saying? We want to take visits, visit these campuses, do all this shit. So I knew where I was going the whole time. So I'm like, shit, I'm about to go, you know, spend the college's money. Uh, shit ain't on me. Go have a good time. Take my parents. Take whoever want to go on these official visits. But I, the whole time I knew I was going to Kentucky. So nice. The whole month of October, my senior year, I went, I went, can I went on a visit to uh, LSU, Kansas. Went to USA, a little USA mini camp in October. Then I went to uh, Ken, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, and. I said, yo, I'm tired as fuck. Like, I'm tired of all this traveling. This was weekend after weekend for five straight weekends. And then I had to uh, go to Arizona and I canceled the visit. I already knew where I was going. So I canceled that and ended up committing to uh, Kentucky in November. What was it about Kentucky that had your mind made up from the jump? Was it the one and done pipeline? Was that something you had told yourself you wanted to try to do? That was definitely the main reason. Second reason, that was actually the only place I, uh, that was the place I knew I was going to play. So uh, Louisville had just gotten in trouble for the stripper shit. Uh, so my mom was like, you ain't going there. Uh, <laughs> shit, Jack would have went there LA. if he knew about some stripper shit. Yeah, yeah I would have so, signed, so. signed that day, Matt. I would have signed that day. <laughs> oh, y'all got in trouble for strippers? Tell him Jack's Damn the program. Time, baby. Damn hooping. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so my, my mom was like, you ain't going there. Uh, I took a visit to LSU because I wanted to go to Baton Rouge for a weekend. Um, I mean, uh, and then Kansas, you know, Bill Self ain't playing no freshmen over juniors and seniors because they had Devontae Graham and uh, and um, Frank Mason at the time, who was about to be a senior. So I knew I wasn't going to play there. So Kentucky, it was like Kentucky was the only real choice. I knew I was going to play. As, hard, as, as crazy as that sounds when you tell kids to go where you know you're going to play, mm-hmm. Kentucky was the place that I knew I was going to start. I knew I was going to play. And that's, that's what it was, really. I, I, I took all them visits just to take them, really. What was and it I feel like, like 90% playing? of kids do it. Although it was only one year, what was that Kentucky experience like in playing for Coach Cal? Man, it was great, y'all. Like, I love Cal. I still talk to Cal to this day. Um, and, I mean, he really just, man, he lets you rock. He go, that's why he, he, he wants guards like John and myself and, and B. Knight, um, you know, Tyler Eulis, the way that he coaches is, it's, it's like absolute freedom. We go out there, we, he'll put X's and O's, but at the end of the day, everything's going to end up in a pick and roll or isolation. That's, that's what the NBA is, too. Right. So, you know, when he's able to get those guys, I mean, you find success. Kyle couldn't give a damn about, you know, winning college basketball games. You know, if, he, if he's getting guys who he knows he can end up developing into NBA players, you automatically going to win 30 games a year mm-hmm. just from that alone. Got those caliber So that's, players, I mean, that's right. what I love. That's what I love. Yeah. He, you came in. You earned everything he made you work, and shit. At the end of the day, I was a top five pick. Bam and Malik were lottery picks, and that's all you could ask for. We lost in the Elite Eight. Obviously, we was mad as hell, but that wasn't going to make me stay. (laughs) That for sure wasn't going to make me stay. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, hey, actually, so we lost by a buzzer beater. Kyle brings us in about 20 minutes after. He said, all of y'all are gone. He Mm. brought he brought us all in there. He said, yo, y'all are done. Y'all not coming back. If y'all need us, y'all got our numbers. We'll help y'all with whatever, but y'all not playing another college basketball game. That was you, Bam, and who else? Who was the third? Uh, Malik Monk. Malik Monk. Malik Monk, right. yeah. Yep. I Monk. said, Cal, you ain't got to tell me twice, nigga. I wasn't coming back anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, take it back real quick. Before you guys bounce, so you guys, SEC tournament MVP. You obviously make a run to the Elite Eight. You have a big matchup in the Sweet 16 against my alumni and Lonzo Ball, who was, you know, it was you two at the time as far as point guards go. You go out there and drop 39. What was that oh like? My, oh, my God. Oh, I remember that game like yesterday. <laughs> yeah, man. man so oh, my I. God. That was bad. So, nah, was so for that, it's – um. Because well, wait, 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 Real quick, though, because UCLA came into Kentucky earlier yeah, that year and I beat y'all, right? Yeah. yeah, so they, they beat us at home. We were number one. 
Mm-hmm. We're number one, we're number one team in the country at the time. We were averaging the most points in the country at the time, and uh, they came in and beat us. So, and the fucked up actually the fucked up thing about this too is yo our road to get to the championship was so hard. Yo, we played. We played UCLA, who was the number three seed. They were a top 10 team at 945 on a fucking uh, on a Friday night. And then we come back and play North Carolina at like two o'clock on Sunday, who was the number one team in the country at the time. So our shit was our. And then we had Wichita State in the second round who they were tough. I think they were like a 13th seed. Shouldn't have been a 13th seed. And we won that game by like two or three. So our road was crazy. And uh, but yeah, now nah, that game. We just, I mean, I thought about them coming to, you know, to our crib and beating us. That was the, uh, so that team and then North Carolina were the two teams we played twice in that year. And, um, I mean, just goes to show, man, it's hard to beat a team twice. Mm-hmm. It's really hard man, to beat you, a team I, twice. You, but you, you know, you was thinking, man, I've been, I'm tired of hearing all this ball, this ball, that, man, listen, this mano y mano, let me go on and show up right now because this is going to help me get to where I need to be. You weren't thinking that? I mean, of course. That was the okay, only, okay. but you got to think. So, but yeah, for, me yeah. though, for me though, that was the only NBA guard that I played that year. Really? So like Lonzo played Markel. Uh, Dennis was playing guys like in Duke. Uh, he was in the ACC, so playing Duke and shit. I didn't yeah. really play another NBA guard the whole year. Mm. So that was the only matchup that they could really, I guess, base it off of. I guess if you go with, uh, you can say the Kansas game too, but I mean, Lonzo's the only starting point guard in the NBA that I played when I was in college.